What is going on YouTube and Weight Loss Warriors? It's your boy C-Dub and I'm back with another video. And today I want to talk about weight training and whether you should do it in your weight loss journey and when you should add it in. And I'm going to do it right after this. My name is C-Dub and I lost 125 pounds eating just one meal a day. Welcome to my channel. I started this channel to help you out on your journey with tips and tricks and my knowledge that I learned along the way in my weight loss journey. Welcome and I hope you become a weight loss warrior into my weight loss warriors. You guys know I love you. Thank you so much for subscribing to this channel and for helping this community grow. You guys got my back and I got yours. Thank you so much for hopping on this video today and I want to briefly break down weight training. So when I say when should we start, should we start, and you know the, the generic answer is always going to be well maybe depending on the person. So I really want to break it down and give you an idea of what my opinion is on weight training and who should and who shouldn't and, and where it all kind of goes. In order to do that we have to start off by saying Quite frankly, if you haven't started your journey yet and you are morbidly obese and you're 100 plus pounds overweight, weightlifting isn't the most important thing. And the reason that I say that is because when you first start your journey out, everything is going to be hard. The fasting is going to be hard. Just all of it. I mean, every bit just getting up in the morning is very difficult. I understand. I have been there. And so you've got to take things in baby steps. But as the journey continues on, you are going to start reaching plateaus, you're going to start reaching goals, you're going to start making things happen. And that becomes a time when we can start to say, well, maybe weight training is something we want to do. Maybe weight training is something we're interested in. And so why would we be interested and when should we start? So as you're moving down and you've got a hang of fasting, and you can do fasting day in and day out, then it's time to maybe start thinking about it. And here's what you kind of got to know. You got to know that we're either doing two things as human beings. We're either growing or we're shrinking. And that's it. There's nothing in between. And so when we stop growing tall somewhere between, I don't know, if you're a female, maybe 16 years old, a lot of females stop, all the way up to some males grow till they're 25. So if you're in that range and you stopped growing, then the only way that you can literally grow is out. It is very difficult and our bodies hardly ever want to maintain what we're doing. Our body looks at it like we're either really working the, the stuff off and burning it or we're storing it because we're going to run into a time when we don't have food. And so your body's kind of doing one or the other. It's either losing what it's stored or it's storing food. And so in that process, you're kind of in this weird balance. And then if you add weight training to it, now you're building muscle, which is also growing out. So these are kind of a tricky situation. So when you should add weight training is if you hit a plateau. If you run into a situation where you not quite, the scale's not really moving, and you can take a minute to put your pride on the side, because if you start lifting, there's a small chance that in the very beginning, it's going to just increase the plateau and make it longer. It might even make you gain a slight bit of weight but it's changing the composition of your body and it's adding muscle. And what is that going to do for us? Why would we ever want to do that? Especially if you're like me, I'm over 40. Muscle isn't something that I desperately need like I needed when I was younger. I don't really do anything that requires a great deal of strength. So why would I want to add strength into my life? Well, of course, there's the common sense answers of just, hey, listen, I want to add strength into my life because it'd be easier to move things, because I could hold myself up more, because I could feel better. And, you know, the list goes on and on of those kind of things. But ultimately, there's one thing that I think a lot of people don't consider. And it is the fact that if you have more muscle, it requires more energy being burnt on a day-to-day -day basis. And if you were intermittent fasting, where that ties in is that energy is going to be burnt from your fat. Your body is going to need to fuel these new muscles you have put on it. So then what your body's going to do is start to say, I have to build muscle, and it's going to reach into your fat reserves, which ultimately is going to burn more body fat, get you more fit, and over the course of the long term, help you lose more weight. I want you to understand, I've 
always told you guys that measuring inches is more important than weight. And this is one of those big reasons because you literally can lose 15 pounds and, and have lost 30 pounds of fat because you put 15 pounds of muscle on you. And although a 15 pound weight loss doesn't seem like that much, but when you're talking about adding a whole lot of muscle and losing fat, out of nowhere your body looks different. You feel better and you're going to be burning more energy. And here goes one of the kickers that I've talked about with you guys many times before. As your weight comes down, you have to change what you're doing. And a lot of that means eating. So you're eating 3,000 calories way up here when you start fasting. And you're cruising down and now you're getting towards Wonderland and now all of a sudden you're under 200 pounds and now your body's burning less and that 3,000 calories has shifted to 2,000 and now you're struggling on down and you want to get to 170, 160, 150. And as you start to reach those numbers, your body is going to just resist, 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 but you're also going to have to drop those calories from 2,000 to 1,500, maybe even lower. And it gets to a point where you just aren't eating to where you feel like you're eating enough. And guess what you can do? Lift weights. And the reason why that is, is because your body's going to burn more body fat during the day. One, because you're lifting. Two, because your muscles are getting bigger and it requires more energy to fuel them. And three, because you are growing bigger, which is definitely something that is going to require your body to fill it with some kind of nutrition. And in order to do that, it is going to reach into your body fat, which ultimately is what we all want. So am I saying that you have to lift weights? No, you don't. I lost all 125. Well, that's not really true. I lost about 110 pounds before I ever lifted a weight. And I lost the last 15 but that last 15, I know I added muscle. And I got away from lifting a lot over the summer, but your boy was in the gym this morning. So I wanted to bring to you why you should be too. Because you know, I'm gonna continue to work on improving myself, and I'd like to extend the hand and say, hey, lift weights because it's not only gonna allow you to eat more, but it's gonna allow you to burn more calories throughout the day and feel better about yourself and change that body composition. So. I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go right now, and I know you see it right here. It's my face. Click on it. It's going to subscribe to this channel, and the reason you should do that is because I am providing you with information that is priceless, and I'm doing it for free. So go ahead and do that for me. I appreciate each and every one of you. I will see you in the weight room. Talk to you on the next one. Peace.